Hi, my name is Ryan Kramer and I wanted to introduce you to ProcessWire with this screencast. The site that I'm going to be using for demonstration purposes is the Synthetic Biology Project website. And I selected this as an example because it's one that we just launched and it's relatively small and simple with regards to its CMS implementation. Right now we're on the home page and I'm just going to click around a little bit so that you can see what this site looks like from the front end since we're going to be focusing more on the back end next. Okay, now I'm going to log into ProcessWire. When we log in, we're presented with a drill down page listing that represents our site structure. I'll click through that a little bit right now so you can see how that works. Now everything in this structure is technically a page, though there are numerous instances where pages will perform other functions. I'll cover that in another screencast. But uh, pages live in this hierarchical structure with no limits on depth. And uh, when we click a page, it shows us any sub-pages, as you saw. It gives us the option to edit that page, to create a new page below it, or to view the page. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and edit a staff biography page. Now we're looking at the page editor. This editor consists of several tabs of editable information that are specific to this page. I'll click through them right now, although I'm not going to cover these individually at this point in time. Instead, what we're going to do is focus on the Content tab. And this is the default editing screen for any given page, though the fields that you see here are specific to a staff member's biography. And that's because in ProcessWire, there are no default fields per se. Basically, all fields used by the system are custom fields that we define specific to the needs of the template. Now, this gives us a lot of flexibility for managing all kinds of different information. If we need to add a new field of information, we can just use the Fields tool, which I'll go to right now. Now here's the group of fields we have defined for staff biographies. We can sort these fields by dragging and dropping. We can edit the properties of existing fields. Or we can add a new field, which I'll do right now. Now each field type that you see here is actually a plugin. So the fields that are available here really depend on what field plugins you have installed. Now these can be anything from very simple text entry fields to something more complex, like for example, uh, multiple selection tools that create relational references between pages. But uh, we'll get to that in another screencast. This fields tool is just one of many different tools included with the system. And with the exception of fields and templates, all these tools are actually plugins themselves. So there may be different tools here depending on your site. And uh, I'll cover each of these in another screencast, but I wanted to keep this one really brief, so I think we'll wrap it up there. Thanks for watching.